Hey guys, so before I get into this video, let me start off just by saying this is such a hard video for me to put up because if you know me, if you go to school with me, or if you know me personally at all, you know I'm super self-conscious about my skin. You've Most people at school that I go to with at school have never seen my bare face. They've only seen me like without maybe mascara. Everyone, almost everyone I go to school with or I know personally has never seen me without foundation or my eyebrows. There has been days where I'll go without lipstick and mascara or without bronzer, stuff like that, but no one's really seen me without um, full face of makeup. So this is such a hard video for me to put up, so I'm just politely asking, you know, no judgment, nothing like that. It's just, um, when I first started my YouTube channel, or when I was going to start, the only thing that was holding me back was I knew eventually I was gonna have to put my bare face on there because I knew eventually I was gonna do a foundation routine, and that's, like, so scary for me. And to be honest, my acne, like, about what you're about to see, is the best as it's ever been since the day... <clears throat> I got acne. Since the day I got acne, it's been bad, and for the first time in my life, my acne is starting to clear up a little bit. I get pimples here and there, and I have a lot of scarring, but it's the best it's ever been, and I'm really happy. I don't know what I'm doing, to be honest. Maybe I'm just getting older, and like my acne is just going away, but I do notice that I'm getting a little more acne up here, so maybe my acne is like transitioning, which kind of sucks, but you know... It is what it is. So, you know, I just wanted to say that before I got into this video, but I hope you guys like it and enjoy. See you in a minute. Okay, so I've already washed and moisturized my face, and I moisturized my face. I actually talked about this in my last video, but I'm using the new Clean and Clear Morning Burst Hydrating Gel, and it's oil-free, and that's what it looks like. I recommend it because it works really good under makeup because it doesn't make your face really greasy. It's actually it like finishes to a matte almost, I guess you could say. It's just not greasy, that's all. So first I'm going to go in with my professional and my Smashbox. This one's like a travel size and this is a sample size that I got in my Ipsy bag. Yeah. Um, I use this one or more around my T-zone where I get most of my, you know, like big pores, blackheads, and that type of stuff, and then I use this on the rest of my face. So I'm going in with this first pea size amount, not too much, and I kind of rub it around on my fingers, and then here, around my mouth, and then I start rubbing it. I'm actually like using the viewfinder to do my makeup right now, that's kind of weird. And then going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, I'm going to put that on the rest of my face. And I put about exactly a pea size for this. I just like totally like flip my hair back. Put up there, there. I make the funniest faces when I put on my makeup, I swear. Like my boyfriend just watches me and he's just like... And I'm like, don't laugh at me, like... You don't understand the process of putting on makeup. You gotta make weird faces. and get right under my eyes, down to my neck. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring my mirror over here. That way I can kind of see what I'm doing because just using the viewfinder is not gonna work for me today. Let's see if this lights up. It's like light coming from here right now. It's because my mirror is like this light. It's like like a ring light kind of type of thing. Yeah, but I need to use this, that way I can do my makeup, otherwise I'm not going to see anything that I'm doing. So, I always do my eyebrows first, and I actually have a video about how I do my eyebrows, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do that off camera, and then I'm just going to go from there. So, see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I went ahead and I put my hair back and I did my eyebrows, and today to use... To use, to use Today, to do my eyebrows, I used my Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Express for brows and eyes. This is what it looks like. It's super dirty. <laughs> and I just used this light shade. And the reason I'm telling you guys this is because before I did my eyebrows right now, I told you guys that you could refer to my last video to see how I did my eyebrows. And I want to say that you shouldn't do that anymore only because I didn't do my eyebrows that way today. I did it a little bit differently. I just used a powder instead of their pomade. I just wanted to do something a little bit light, and it's a little bit quicker to me. But yeah, so again, I already primed my face, you know, washed it, moisturized, primed my face. So now I'm going to be going in with my Revlon Colorstay. 
This is what it looks like. And I am in the shade 180 Beige. This is my tan color. It might This actually might be even a little bit light because this is my naturally tan color and I self-tanned recently. So I don't know how that's going to turn out. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. Not even a little bit. Like I usually use a lot. I use a lot. I can't even... I can't even say I know. So, as you can see, I have a few active pimples and I'm breaking out of my forehead. I have no idea why because I never break out in my forehead. So it must have been something I ate that like reacted to me that way. So, okay, so let me just, I'm just going to start dotting on my face. Let me turn the brightness down real quick. Okay, so I'm just dotting it on my face, up in my forehead. Now, this is going to seem super weird, but I try not to get it, and you can see it's like covering my acne pretty good. I try not to cover it, um, try not to cover it, I try not to put it under my eyes too much because I have, I get horrible, horrible, horrible creasing under my eyes, and apparently I can't talk and do my makeup. Um, I get really bad creasing under my eyes, and more product means more creasing, so I try to avoid that as much as possible get down that neck okay so I switch to be honest I switch between a brush and my beauty blender like some days I just feel like using my beauty blender and some days I feel like using a brush it just kind of depends on my mood to be honest and if you want more coverage underneath before you do your foundation you can put on a green concealer and that really helps because it neutralizes the redness and I usually put a green concealer on but not all the times I just didn't for this video only because I don't do it every day and I just wanted to show you guys how I do my foundation without using a green concealer let me zoom you guys in okay so As you can see, that first layer covered pretty well, so I still have a little bit on the back of my hand, and what I do with the rest, with any excess that I have on the back of my hand, is I go ahead and I put it in the places that I need more coverage. You don't want to build up two layers of foundation to cover up some spots, you know what I mean? Otherwise your makeup's going to start looking cakey, so like, just because I have an area that I need to cover right here, I'm not going to put a whole second layer on my face, you know, that makes no sense. So only put extra product on the places that you need it because I've seen people do that and it's like oh like what are you trying to cover up and they're like oh I have a few spots right here I'm like then cover up those spots not just not everywhere on your face because then it looks cakey I don't say it like that I'm way I'm way nicer than that I'm just you know speaking my mind right now so keep covering those spots and I will go in with a concealer foundation actually might be too dark right now. Whatever, it's okay. Ah, uh, hair. And I get, I don't like getting it under my eyes, but I get it in the corner of my eyes because my dark circles travel, travel? My dark circles travel up into the inner corners of my eyes, so I always put foundation up in there. Okay, just making sure everything is nice and I think I just got foundation on my hair. It's okay. Making sure everything is nice and blended out. This is what it looks like so far. Um, obviously, you can't cover up the texture of your skin, but you know, there's only so much you can do. Just covering up the redness, covering up the acne marks. So, I notice a few marks that I can cover a little better. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead in with my concealer. What I'm using right now is this sheer cover. Um, duo concealer and light and medium. There's a light shade and there's a dark shade and One's too light for me and one's a little bit too orangey dark for me So what I do is I kind of mix them together and I'm just using this small foundation brush, you know, it's not it's not super big It's just big enough And then I'm just going to be dotting that in the places that I need a little bit I feel like I need a little bit more coverage and I never break out my forehead. So this is so weird uh, I recently got a lip pimple, so, oh my god, have you guys ever gotten a lip pimple? Because honestly, they hurt so bad. Like, it's probably the worst place you can get a pimple. Mm. 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tap it out with my finger. If I was using my beauty blender, I would do it with my beauty blender. But since today, I'm just feeling like using my fingers, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. It warms the product up and it allows me to keep it in the place that I want it, you know. As opposed to a brush, it kind of spreads around a little bit. With my finger, I can really be precise and put the foundation exactly, or not the foundation, I can put the concealer exactly where I want it to be on. Now, the main event, the forehead. Because honestly, I never get acne on my forehead anymore. So this is super weird. So that's pretty much covered up, so... Now that I have the concealer on, I'm just going to go back in with my brush and just kind of press down in the areas that I had concealer just to kind of make sure that it stays. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be concealing my under eyes. So this is the hard part for me because... I have a horrible, horrible creasing. No matter what concealer I use, it just, you know, I can't find a trick that seems to help my under eye creasing. So, you know, let me just do this. So, what I do is, oh, my nose is itching. So, what I do is I just go like this. I just go one line, and two, and then three. And that's it. Oh. Now, same thing with the other way. One two and then three now this used to be like a perfect color to conceal but now that I'm darker and I self tan this is actually more like a highlighting color so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna put this on the bridge of my nose my forehead my cupid's ball my cupid's ball my chin and I'm gonna put it on the outer corners of my lips got that going so kind of sometimes I'll use my finger sometimes I'll use my blue bluey I'll use my bluey blender beauty blender or I'll use a brush but today I feel like using a brush because that's a little bit more normal for me to do so I'm just gonna start from the bottom and I'm gonna start blending it out notice I'm not swirling I'm not dragging I'm just doing small padding motions and I want the least amount of product under that creasing area because I crease so horrible in that area. It's kind of ridiculous. And I don't know how to do it. Honestly, I feel like I'm going to have to get like a full 10 hours of sleep just to not have like horrible creasing right there. If I have to do that, I volunteer this weekend because next week I am work working full days and... I am not gonna get 10 hours of sleep. <laughs> well, I mean, maybe I can, but I'd have to go to bed early, and I really don't want to, so. So now I'm just kind of doing my nose, and then my forehead, just kind of kind of spread that around a little bit. I don't want that just in that little spot. My cuckoo bow. And my chin. Okay, so now I'm. Ooh, let me grab it. So now I'm gonna be setting my under eye concealer. I'm gonna be using this Mary Kay um, translucent loose powder. That's what it looks like, and it's just. This is kind of messy. This is just what it looks like on the inside. It's just a white translucent powder. And usually, ugh, usually I would use my beauty blender to do this, but I'm not going to today. Oh, I almost dropped it. Oh my gosh. Okay, so um, what I kind of do is I kind of like bake with this, whatever you want to call it. But first I just get a little bit on the very end of my brush, tap off the excess, and then I just go ahead and I apply just a little bit under my eyes to prevent creasing. I am not even using a mirror right now. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing with the other side. Whew, hopefully that does not fall. See, I told you I make a bunch of funny faces right now. I'm just like... 
So no matter what, I'm always going to crease, like whatever, there's nothing I can do about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm basically taking a whole bunch of that powder on there, and I'm just going to be patting this on my face, like so. I need a little bit more to come out. This product is so kind of, like, it's so messy with this stuff. But you know what? It's kind of worth it because it's really great. It's a really great powder. I'm just going to get this. Basically, I'm just getting this white powder in the places that I highlighted. So, Connor, uh, uh, I know, that's a lot. You're going to be like, what the fudge? What? And then my chin. And then also, I didn't highlight this area, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put it right under and on top of there. Same thing with the other side. It's basically almost my whole face except the whole portion of my forehead. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute and then I'm going to go ahead in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Bronzer in Park Avenue Princess. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using this, okay, this is like from a brush roll I got from someone and it doesn't have a name or a label, anything on it. And I want to say it's like a MAC brush. But I'm not completely sure, so, you know. So what I'm going to do is, um, see how, you know, this is a flat brush. It's kind of flat, so I'm going to be taking the flat side like that. And I'm just going to be rubbing only that part, kind of angling it in there. And then I'm only going to do two taps. And then what I'm going to do is that product is on that side, so I'm going to flip it around. And I'm going to make sure I get right in that cheekbone area. Because I like, I like a pretty harsh contour, to be honest. I never go easy on the bronzer. It's okay though. I'm just a bronzer girl. I love bronzer. So now with the other side, there's that side and then there's that side. You can see it, my face is bronze. Now this is going to be super weird because like I usually go like that. So you know I don't know how you guys are going to really see me do this right now. Let me do it this way. It's okay. It might not look the same on both sides but you know what? It's okay. Now that I kind of have like that harsh line, I'm going to go ahead and start blending outwards like so. Same thing with the other side. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go in with a bigger brush that looks like this. Bigger. And I'm going to go in with my oh so trusty um, Simmer. Simmer. Where do I make up my, these? Oh, I don't know. With I'm going to go in with this Sun Shimmer Rimeo Maxi Bronzer. And this is what it looks like. It's super cute. It's almost like it's like half the size of my face. I'm just going to go ahead and swirl my brush around there and tap the excess off. Oops, I totally just dropped it and I broke it right now. Anyways, I'm going in on my forehead and I'm just going to bronze up my five head because I feel like I have the biggest forehead on the universe. But then I, I kind of do, but then I kind of don't. Like sometimes I'm like, oh, my forehead's okay. Like I have nothing to worry about. And then other days I'm just like... Why is my forehead this big? So, since my bronzer fell and I can't reach it right now, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this. But usually I would go ahead and do a little bit under here. And then I would go ahead and do a little bit on the sides of my nose. But since that's over, I'm going to go ahead and blend out. Not blend out, but kind of wish away that powder that's on my face. And usually, this is one step I forgot today, so don't like hate me. Um, I usually put on chapstick before I do my foundation or anything, so I like totally have like foundation lips right now and it's kind of weird. I need to put something over that. But that's pretty much it for my foundation, you know, powder, setting my under eyes, you know, concealer and that type of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of my makeup, you know, just my, pretty much just my eyelashes and my lips. And I will be right back. Okay, so there is my full-faced foundation routine. Um, this is more of an everyday routine for me. This is something I do almost every day. Um, the only thing I would do, this is a natural everyday look for me. And then when I'm going for a little bit more glam days, I'll put on some 
eyeshadow, I'll make my eyelashes thicker, I'll do my bottom eyelashes, I'll put on a darker lipstick, I'll bronze a little more heavy, I'll highlight better. Um, that's kind of what I'll do when I'm glamming up, you know, going out or if I just feel cute that day, you know, something like that. But this is my everyday foundation routine pretty much. And the funny thing is, is I actually literally just changed my foundation routine like four days ago. So this is like my last foundation routine basically. My full coverage acne foundation routine, but my skin has been getting a lot better, which you'll notice in this video. So um, I haven't been needing as much coverage as I usually do. I just kind of throw on my foundation and then I go on with my day. And whatever else, I don't really conceal. I do highlight still and conceal my under eyes, but I don't really conceal my pimples anymore only because my acne has gotten a lot better so soon in a few videos, maybe next month or something, I'll do my updated foundation routine because I don't want to do this video and then put up an updated one right after that because that's going to make people confused. Like, then which one did you really do first? So I just kind of wanted to do that. You know, I just wanted to show you guys how I covered up my acne when it was really really bad which it's not in this video I should have done it earlier but you know I just I, I didn't have time you know this is it's it's Saturday right now and I finally had time to do this and I was like you know what I'm gonna go and get my camera and I'm just gonna do this video because I've been telling you guys I've been gonna do it for the longest time and I haven't got to it but I finally got to it so here it is again no judgment that was my bare skin that was really hard for me to do but I hope I showed you guys enough to where um, you guys can cover up your acne or whatever you need to do. But that's it for this foundation routine. That's it for this video. And I just wanted to show you guys how I covered up my face and turned it into this. So that's it. I hope you guys liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.